hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16.1 beta 3 update on my iphone 10r as you can see this is an iphone 10r and this update came in about 468.2 mb on my iphone 10r along with that i have my iphone 12 as well and on which i have received the same update this update came in about 578.2 mb on my iphone 12 so in this video i'll mostly focus on iphone 10r there are some new features and ui changes particularly with this ios update so i'm going to talk about that so if you're interested to know what are the new changes and the features that apple has brought with ios 16.1 beta 3 update then definitely do watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel that gives me a lot of motivation to make more of such kind of videos on my channel with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings general and about section if i tap on the ios version as you can see the ios version says ios 16.1 and the new build number as you can see from the screen 20b5056e so that's the new build number so unfortunately with iphone 10r there is no new modem firmware update but with my iphone 12 i've received uh you know modem firmware update so as you can see i had captured the screenshot before update as you can see the modem firmware was 3.06.01 and if i go to the settings and if i go to the general and about section as you can see the modem firmware has been upgraded to 3.07.00 on my iphone 12. wherein on iphone 10r i had taken a screenshot just to be sure about this as you can see before updating this modem firmware update was 5.01.00 and after updating as well this is the same so if you're having a newer iphones probably iphone 12 13 or 14 you have a modem firmware update but for older iphones at least i know for sure for iphone 10r there is no modem firmware update with this ios 16.1 beta 3. now i tell you this on every video if you do not have a beta profile installed you won't be able to have this update so make sure before commenting on the video you have this profile ios 16 beta software profile installed on your iphone if you want to try out new features and beta softwares so now with that being said let's talk about what are the new changes with ios 16.1 beta 3 update so the first things first if i go to the settings and the biggest ui change is with the wallpaper section so if i click on the wallpaper section as you can see now the wallpaper section has completely been revamped there are some new options it says add new wallpaper so earlier it used to say something else and the two customize options and if you scroll left or right you can see the earlier wallpaper which was set on this iphone so that's a pretty cool nifty feature so as you can see these were the wallpapers i set previously on this phone and in the right it will show you the current wallpaper now if you want to add a new wallpaper you can click on this and it's pretty similar you have to click on photos and then all and then from there you can choose in a uh, wallpaper so that's how simple it is and also i've noticed that if you want to talk about the lock screen customization let me uh, unlock this with the face id because now if i want to do the customization it it feels uh, very smooth and i can do a customization very quickly on either of the lock screen or home screen so that's the new thing apart from that there are quite a few uh, changes in the settings as well if i go to the general as you can see the matter accessories option has been now removed from this general section so it is not now available so probably with the uh, you know future betas apple might add it back but as of now it has been removed so that's the new thing and apart from that if you come to this app store option there's a new option which says in app content so what it says automatically run apps in the background to download content before you first launch them so with ios 16.1 beta 2 it was not there so this is the new option that has been added in the app store um, you know that was pretty nifty and handy so you can go about this in your new iphones and can check and you can turn this off and turn this on so these are all the new things i was able to notice with ios 16.1 you know beta 3 update and also on my iphone 12 these are the same things you know i have noticed so now talking about the performance performance is good before i want to move into the performance many of you have asked me about the battery life so if i click on the settings and you know if i want to talk about the battery 
as you can see on my iPhone 12 the battery health is 88% and the similar situation is on iPhone 10R so the battery health is 88% and I can tell you on both the iPhones after updating the battery health has not dropped so that's a good sign now talking about the battery life I will be making a video about the battery life on iOS 16.1 beta 3 this weekend I will also include iPhone 12 because you now whenever I do a follow-up review and if I don't include iPhone 12 you guys request you know a lot about to include the iPhone 12 as well because this has been a device I've been using to test out the battery life so I would say the battery life isn't great with you know iOS 16 beta softwares but then again I will include the battery situation in the follow-up review now talking about the performance performance is actually good with iPhone 12 and even with the normal situations like scrolling opening app and you know scrolling through UI there is no such lag I was able to notice with iPhone 10R as well now on both of this iPhone I ran Geekbench 5 score so on this iPhone 10R I just ran it and the single core score came out to be uh, 1111 and the multi core score came out to be 2225 I know the scores are little low and you know it's a four year old iPhone before you comment about anything like the iPhone 10R has gone bad it has become slow it is of course it has become a little slow that is too obvious because when I purchased this iPhone it was on iOS 12 and right now guys after you know so many years it is running iOS 16 so that's the fact that you have to always keep in mind before commenting so it's a four year old iPhone before you go ahead and compare this uh, you know iPhone performance with any other iPhone you have to keep in mind this is a four year old iPhone and also I ram the Geekbench 5 score on this iPhone 12 the scores are pretty average the single core score is 1584 and the multi core score is 3984 so then again with the help of this video I just wanted to talk about we have received iOS 16.1 beta 3 update so if you have an iPhone on which you have a beta profile installed then definitely I would suggest go and check for the update you have received the update now talking about whether you should install this update yes and no I would suggest if you are on stable series of updates like if you are on iOS 16.0.2 then hold off for you know a couple of weeks because in the month of October mid October probably we are expecting to have a public release of iOS 16.1 but if you are already on iOS 16 beta softwares and running probably on iOS 16 beta 1 or beta 2 then definitely do update to iOS 16.1 beta 3 because you have got new features the new way how you can add in or customize the wallpaper so that's all I wanted to clarify if whether you should or should not install iOS 16.1 beta 3 on your iPhone so then again I hope that you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you have enjoyed the video and I will see you on my next video bye bye